Hey, we're back on the river again. Bite was so good yesterday, I decided to come back and do it again today. Got both rods out before I got that camera set up. This one was on. I got him in the live well, about two and a half pounder. This one took off when I was dealing with that one. I miss him. He's still out there. We'll get him next week. We'll get him next year. We'll find him. Well, yesterday we had all sun. Today we've got nice cloud cover. We got wind blowing. River going that way, wind coming that way. Makes the boat want to move around a lot. Just got to find places like behind these oak trees where you can get out of the wind. The outside of this band, big long sweeper, cut bank. I'm in 12 foot of water. Water 74 degree. I figured by now we'd have 80, but we don't. You have treble hooks involved. Not get a bit. Rubber worm, bait worm, dip worm, I don't ever pull that hook up in. I want them babies exposed. And they still get away. Gorgeous one, huh? Need a screenshot. Good looking fish, not a mark on them. No parasites, no bugs, whatever. That's two for the day. I seen that rod bopping a couple minutes ago, or half a minute, minute. Thing was just laying down there, not moving. Got well, I'll reel it in, check the bait. Wow. Man, all three of them are just sharp as can be. We need a 15 pounder, that's what we need. 10, 12, big one. Need a big one. A 
like say we just got a bunch of runts down there stealing bait. But I happened to see a couple of them and Another one for the stringer, live well. It's kind of small. One hook right in the upper lip. Good little eater. We're going to let him grow up a little bit. Now that I got both rods in, I'm going to slip down a couple hundred yards. Hey, we got some timber sticking out of the water up here. I think that's going to be my next home. my balance there. This one don't want to come up off the bottom at all. fish are all the same size, just nice size eaters. these fish dying in my live well. He's about down here with that hook. I just throw him in the live well like that. It looks like it's time to tie on that new treble hook. to do with it. Oh, 
smaller than I care to keep, but the hook is deep. And that makes number four. Got a spine on that one. It's definitely the hot stick in this hole. There again, that's probably a primo to some people. That was a good hot bite going. We're gonna let him grow up. I think this one will go in the live well. There's another nice one. You can look down that gull and see down in his uh, gills. That hook came out, ripped him open, and then hooked him right in the lip. He's keeper anyway. That'd be number six. Definitely the hot stick. I only need four more. I'll let them get a little bigger. Pretty good tugger. <laughs> well, I got a blast suit.
That's perfect fish there. Goes that way is about two and three quarter, three pound. That's where I like them. That is number seven. I got wet. That is number eight. That's a nice fish. That is eight nice fish. Two going at the same time. Haven't done that for a while. Oh, he's just a little scutter. But I think he's hooked deep. Yeah, he's big enough to keep, actually. Yeah, he's way down there. Way down in the gut. Yep. Well, that's number nine. I'm done.